you have also said on the record that you will not vie next year. Is that a position you still hold? Are you? Yeah, that's a position I still hold. And, and by the way, Wahiga, people take political parties for granted. Running a political party is a full-time job by itself. And the reason why we are in this trouble is because we, we took our parties for granted. We forgot that parties are the carriers and the, you know, they're, they're, they're the carriers of the vision of, 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 of ideologies. And, and so therefore, running a party in a democratic way, in a fair way, is a full-time job by itself. Government is formed by parties. Government is not formed by circles. Government is not formed by welfare societies. Government is formed by political parties. And so therefore, uh, if we are able to uh, bad our political parties in the right way, then we are going to have effective government. One of my real concerns is that uh, I believe, and you have asked what we've won, is that um, the Jubilee experiment was very unfortunate. It was very sad. And I think that um, Jubilee as a one grand party was born prematurely. You will recall in the first term that uh, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta on the ballot paper of, 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 uh, of uh, 2013, he was there as a TNA party, as is my colleague Kabando Akabando. And, and, and mine in, in the first time in parliament. And, and William Ruto was there as a ULP. And you will agree with me that there was much more mutual respect. There was much more, you know, consensus. There was much more, you know, you know, there was much less dictatorship than what we have seen under the behemoth that was a Jubilee Party. So it is a lesson to learn. I think that the unity of Jubilee Party was rushed. Uh, both our parents, the president as the deputy president, <laughs> have got their fair share of blame on this matter. But I think that um, I believe that history is a wonderful lesson to learn. It is, yes, a terrible bed to sleep in. We cannot sleep in the bed of history forever. But it's still a wonderful lesson to learn. And I hope that people have learned from Debaku that was Jubilee, and now we are going to have more honest, more refined, and more patient conversations as we look at the you know, as they were forward in terms of our politics.